One thing that just cannot be overlooked when you're doing virtual training is making sure that the learner or the participant is having fun. Think back to when you were in kindergarten. There was a book years ago written called Everything I Really Needed to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. Well, in kindergarten, you're not sitting in a lecture hall. You're playing, you're exploring, you're making things, you're, you're doing art, you're, you're doing all kinds of things, but it's very tactile, you're doing things. And that's so important for adult learners too. At the end of the day, we're really little kids in big bodies and we wanna have fun. So where can you add games? Where can you um, make this light? Where can you have recognition and contests? And just make sure that your learner is laughing and having fun because we learn more when we're having a great time. When you're in person, you get to razzle dazzle and you look for body language. Now you're just a teeny tiny little postage stamp up in the corner of the presentation view. And now your slides, your deck, your presentation is the star of the show. There's a piece of science called the stimulation threshold which means people have a higher expectation and lower attention when they're looking at a screen. So they're expecting to see more animation, more movement, more content actually that comes their way. So learning how to annotate your slides and maybe whiteboard on the screen, putting more motion, animation, builds in your slides, but ultimately they only remember 10% of what they heard and that memory is random. So the bottom line takeaway is make sure you have enough engagement and interaction to keep people's attention, but make sure you know and control and repeat that 10% message over and over because you want them to take away the thing you want them to remember, not something random. Virtual training versus face-to-face, -face, they're very, very different. In virtual world, you have to be very much more deliberate in terms of how you actually interact with the participants. And you have to be much more planful in how you put things together. Because in a virtual world, it's very easy for your participants to be distracted. So your ability to have laid out chats or breakout rooms or different ways to interact with each other or with um, you is an important part of the process. My tip for sellers would be to dress up and stand up when you're doing a virtual sales call. And I guess that goes for, for trainers as well in virtual training. You wanna make sure that you take this seriously and not just phone it in because it, it feels like uh, it's not a face-to-face -face meeting anymore. You wanna bring your A game, close all distractions, shut all the windows and be present with your audience.